gotta get some butt warmth going on. Oh, snowflakes. Snowing? Is it snowing? Exactly. You saw <laughs> that. You like, get all excited and giddy. So, no. For here, this isn't snowing. This is just wind blowing around in snowflakes. By now, I think everyone who watches my vlogs knows the way to the gym because I've recorded it so many times. But it's kind of darker. It's like the sun is coming up later, so they're going to notice the shift. Well, not shift, but you know what I'm saying. Have some good earlier and comes up later and later. So I'm looking all janky, but I didn't sleep very much. I slept maybe six and a half hours and stay up late. It's too early. This is daily life cleaning the kennel because you have a senior dog and this is life. Now you gotta be prepared to clean up after them because they can't help it. That's why we put in these floors. This is the resilient flooring I was telling you about. It can withstand being mopped daily multiple times. So here is the crafting project that I've been planning since Sunday when we went to Michael's. I intended to buy a few more things for this wreath, but I decided to kind of keep it simple. So these ornaments were given to me a number of years ago, and they're my husband's families. They must have hung on their trees for a few years because most of them look very worn, but that gives them character. And it really makes me smile thinking that my husband looked at these ornaments when he was a little boy. So, because I can't hang them on our tiny little tree, having them on this wreath really allows us to enjoy it. And refreshing the wreath allows us to add kind of our own story to it as well. Here, I'm repairing some of the ornaments, the little loops on them you know, are old and fraying, so I'm replacing them. The bows have twist ties on them. I'm just slipping the twist tie through the little loop and then attaching them with the twist tie so that there isn't that much stress on those loops. Now, some of these ornaments are so old that they've got a few bits of damage. And this little monkey here, he's no pretty, pretty bad off. So I decided to cut off the fraying um, bit of string and replace it, trimming the frayed parts and then using hot glue to put it back together so that we can enjoy it for years to come. So now that I've got it all secured, I'm going to add it to the wreath. But then I noticed that it's also missing the loop on top. So I cut a bit of the loop of the ornament that I plan to add later and made a new loop for it. These are the ornaments that I decided to add to the, our story and they're super cute. I bought them at Michael's and I'm going to put them on a bow and I'm going to fix the bow and it's going to be absolutely adorable. You'll see. Here's my project. I wanted to hang it on the door, but I couldn't because it's so stinking cold and the glue for the command strip wouldn't stay. So if you have any ideas on how to hang this wreath from a metal door, 
in below freezing temperatures, please leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Bye. I went on and on and on about having a senior dog and we went to work and the dog kennel was open.